And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. We're closing off the work week with an increased risk for fire weather once again. Red flag warning has been issued for eastern Idaho, also the southern half of Montana. This is through tonight due to gusty winds that will build into our area up to about 30 to even 35 miles per hour. I think across the lower valleys we see winds between about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So not any advisory level winds or high wind warning speeds, but still enough to cause more potential fires into our area. Air quality alert still remains into effect for most most areas does not include southeast Idaho, but I think we'll start to get a little bit of a relief into the air quality once we hit about the weekend. Reason for that, we have an area of low pressure off the coast. This will begin to move on shore. We'll also drop a cold front through our area. So for tomorrow, break out the sweaters. Temperatures tomorrow will only reach the 50s for the higher terrain to even the 60s. So it will be noticeably cooler out there. And because this cold front will pass through, that's why we're going to be seeing cooler temperatures, the chance for showers and thunder storms into our area over the next few days and I want to time those out for you for today we start off the morning with some sunshine mixing with the smoke but that will quickly dissipate by this afternoon lots of clouds out there today more of a gloomy day one o'clock this afternoon clouds continue to be on the increase even into tonight and that's also why temperatures today will only reach the 70s and the 80s no 90s in the forecast for today and then we'll see the threat for showers and storms into the evening and also to start off the morning for tomorrow so with all the smoke out there and the chance for rain, I would certainly hold off on getting that car wash until about the second half of the weekend. For tomorrow, 1 o'clock, again, the showers and thunderstorms, more scattered for the higher terrain and also for the central mountains. I think for the Snake River Plain, we will see some, but they won't be as numerous as they will be for those other areas. And then we clear out by tomorrow night to start off Sunday. So again, a half and half weekend is on the way for our area. We have that threat for showers and thunderstorms tomorrow with windy conditions. And then on Sunday, we will begin to dry out, but temperatures still continuing to be cooler than what we have been seeing for this week, 60s and 70s for the weekend. Fortunately, temperatures this morning really haven't changed too much from the past few days. We're at 58 in Pocatello, 46 in Idaho Falls, 36 in Jackson. So for some of the higher terrain, you may need a light jacket to start off your morning. And then by this afternoon, high temperatures across the Gem State will be cooler compared to what we have been seeing. Most locations do see the 80s, though, so not too cool just yet, but we will see a lot of clouds out there. And then for tonight, the temperatures will be a few degrees warmer with all the clouds and also the showers and storms. We'll be at 51 for Idaho Falls, 53 in Rexburg, 55 tonight in the Gate City. And then for tomorrow, boy, those temperatures drop. Take a look at this, 67 for Idaho Falls, only into the 50s for the higher terrain. And we approach the 70 degree point tomorrow in Pocatello. For your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast, mostly cloudy out there today. The winds crank up by about this afternoon. Continuing into tomorrow, we have the threat for some showers and also some thunderstorms into our area. And then on Sunday, we dry out. Temperature is still into the 70s. And then we quickly warm up back into the 80s by Monday. First day of fall on Tuesday, not too bad. 81 degrees, we'll see a mixture of clouds and sun. Idaho Falls, your seven day forecast, mostly cloudy out there today. Winds crank up later this afternoon, continuing to tomorrow, where we have a threat for showers and thunderstorms and also cooler temperatures.